So in today's episode, we've been talking about how to get local government to do what you want. And we've been focusing on three core strategies. First, testifying in hearings, making your voice heard in a way that requires you to actually practice, to root it in story, and to really have a plan about how you're going to use that time in front of uh, your elected officials. Secondly, meeting with representatives, whether formally or in informally. And that means really making sure that you are specific about the problem you want to solve, you're concrete about what it is you want government to do, and you're relentless in not letting your elected officials off the hook and giving you vague, uh, non-committal answers. And finally, thinking about lobbying and getting a lobbyist, which again, is not about hiring the well-heeled, but is about recognizing that we, the people, have citizens' lobbies out there, and we can organize them to get their voices and our voices heard inside the halls of power. But above all, literally, is the idea that we have to, as citizens of this city, vote. To vote is to get all of our elected officials to pay attention and to get government to do what we want. Elected officials are, in many ways, leaders, but they are also exquisitely attuned followers, and they will follow the vote and see who shows up to vote. So make sure you do. Well, in every episode, we love to take your questions and comments uh, that come in via social media. And we've got a really good one here today. This one comes from Catherine on Facebook. And it says, when so much of working to make systematic change is a long game, what, can, what, ways, what are some ways we can measure and reflect on our short-term impact? Well, we've actually been hearing about that throughout this episode. Uh, our friend from Seattle Neighborhood Greenways was talking about how so much of this work is about having a stepwise plan, that they recently as an organization had this big win where the city council unanimously passed a resolution uh, calling for the stitching together of bike lanes across the city. But remember, that resolution is non-binding. There are other steps that have to go from there. And so you've got to be thinking about how can you chunk the work into a set of small wins that can build upon each other. This is the way you've got to think about it, to not feel apathetic, hopeless, or overwhelmed. Well, we want to hear from you in the future with all kinds of questions and thoughts, so please contact us through all these different channels on social media, our email address and our website, and of course our hashtag always, hashtag CitizenUTV. Uh, well, that wraps this episode of Citizen University TV. We hope you've learned something about how to get local government to do what you want, and we hope you'll think more broadly about how to exercise your voice and your power as citizens. I'm Eric Liu. Thanks for joining us.